Got a picture perfect performance from 22 year old Shiva Tapa, this year's Asian Oceanic Olympic qualification tournament runner up in China. Sights as one of his heroes, cricketer Sachin Tendulkar. Please welcome the boxer in the blue corner. We tried to go on a run here. Cuba. Might be a sticky wicket for him, who knows. Cuba expectant of 22 year old Robesi Ramirez. Gold four years ago in London at flyweight. Shy customer by the look of it. <laughs> Southport has enjoyed a strong career already. Tip for success, even at a very young age, showed phenomenal talent at the youth level in Cuban boxing. One more. A surefire middle contender. Introducing the boxer in the red corner, representing India. Apresentando o pugilista no campo vermelho, que representa a Índia, Shiva Tapa. His brother Gobind was a state level boxer. Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing Cuba. E apresentando o pugilista no campo azul, que representa Cuba, Obesi Ramirez. The all action, energetic. Robesi Ramirez of Cuba. Cuban in blue stepping up from flyweight and that gold medal in London in 2012 to bantamweight. against Shiva Tapa of India. South four stance of the Cuban. Yeah, the right jab of Ramirez sets the tempo, keeps the movement on the back foot of Tapa, trying to keep him off balance. Does so much that thudding hook come cross Tapa's really going to have to produce something special here he's a very confident and concentrated boxer he knows his business but he's getting a bit of a lesson here fast hands from Ramirez with some power behind them Ramirez one of the World Series of Boxing fighters with the very strong Cuban Domadores team. A good straight left there, thuds into the face of Tapa. A little bit of caution about the Indian boxer in red, with every good reason. And that is the difference between the two. The caution of Tapa, the trepidation in Tapa's feet, he's moving a lot, he's not set when he punches. Ramirez likes to sit down on his shots and he brings the power up from the floor and that makes the difference. Again Ramirez leading confidently with that right jab. Always easy on the eye, aren't they, the Cubans? They're, they're such high technicians, aren't they? There's so much work goes into it, and anything done well looks easy. And they've worked at it and worked at it, that every movement is refined and polished. And also, crucially, 
you never see them surprised. The reason they're not surprised is they spend so much time sparring. If you come from, let's look like of Tapa's case, he doesn't have the, straight, the same strength and depth of sparring. So he doesn't have the chance to practice as much. He will have sparring, of course, but the Cuban team, even to qualify, is a massive task. Closing 10 seconds of the first round. Of course, what doesn't help the Indian fighters is their federation was dissolved, which uh, never helpful. And the highest stage for Shiva Tapa against one of the gold medal favourites in the bantamweight division, Cuba's Robesi Ramirez, who surely has comfortably taken that first round. Yeah, it was the right jab of Ramirez followed by that left hook. The most telling blows of that opening round. And the Cuban first class. Tapa, well involved. By no means bowled over. Unanimous, all three scoring judges for Ramirez in that first round. Second round of this bantamweight contest for the right to meet Mohamed Hamout of Morocco in the second round of the preliminaries. He's beginning to fancy it now, Ramirez. He's felt the shots of Sylvia Tapa and he knows that he cannot be hurt by the Indian. So he's walking through and just letting his hands go. Piston like that right jab of Ramirez scoring constantly with that shot. And as well as scoring with that jab, as you see, he also uses it to defend. As soon as he throws it out, he drops it across to block another punch. So he'll pop out the jab and then he'll put it across just to block anything that's coming back. Very intelligent. Good work to the body as well from Ramirez. Those are energy sapping blows. there from Ramirez classy work and he turns counter into attack so well when you catch your opponent on the way in it's very important to put pressure on them again and he turns that counter straight into a couple of straight shots and these are damaging blows he's Taking some punishment here, Tapa. Final minute of the second round. Beautifully balanced boxer, Ramirez. Yep, and he does throw spiteful punches, and I think that's resulted in a little cut above the eye of the Indian Shiva Tapa but as you say that balance that comes from years of preparation and also being calm if you're calm under pressure it means that you can rely on your fundamentals crowd warming to the Cubans performance huge step up in class this for Tapa of India Final 10 seconds of the round. Tapa 
We'll be thankful for the one minute respite at the end of that round. Surely unanimous again for Ramirez. There's that cut. has been conducted in a very clean fashion this fight and you can see why the Cuban Ramirez is Olympic champion and looking to defend here unanimous again for Ramirez with that flyweight gold four years ago in London looking strong here at Bantam seconds and spiteful as well, there's some real power in these shots, he's not wasting any time. Ramirez of Cuba has won all 10 bouts in his World Series boxing with the Domadores franchise, including victories over the man who almost certainly awaits him is going to be the next opponent for the winner of this contest, Mohamed Hamout of Morocco. Ramirez has already beaten him. Tapa needs a Hollywood punch in this third round. And as you said earlier, doesn't appear to have the power to deliver it difficult when you're trying to set your feet and do something that you've not managed before to get in to throw the power behind the shot you need to do it without any distractions or anyone hitting you and that's just not going to happen Ramirez is not going to give him a free punch he always occupies him whether it's ducking to one side throwing out a pretend jab or smacking him in the body Tapa is always off balance and as you rightly said Ramirez and he's perfectly poised at every turn. Solid left there from Tapa. Eats the punches of Ramirez. And the standing count. Very impressive indeed from Robert C. Ramirez. He took one from Tapa as if to say, how dare you? Absolutely exactly what happened there. well ahead Ramirez there's no showboating here total dedication you get from the Cubans that's a good point you've made there it's about being composed doesn't want to pick up any injuries he knows he's going to have a very long two minute wonderful head movement and the 10 ounce gloves don't give that much protection to your hands so it's not just the cuts and bruises you've also got to protect your knuckles as well As you say, funny when prodded, the street fighter and Ramirez came out there. Took one, got a bit embarrassed and annoyed, and he's just shut the door and tap it. Closing seconds. With a comprehensive win for the man in blue, Robesi Ramirez of Cuba. Just taps his blue gloves together and knows. And he has fought to his ranking there, the gold medal favourite in the bantamweight division. And let's file that in the five-star category. Great performance from Shiva Tapa, but in with a high-quality exponent in Ramirez. Yeah, no wonder there's some chin scratches. There is a chin in there somewhere. That's a tremendous beard there, isn't it? But it was a tremendous performance from Ramirez. A worthy winner. And a touch of class from the Cuban.
It's not always been plain sailing in his career for Ramirez. After the six-month imposed absence from the sport after the uh, Boxing Federation claimed he wasn't showing up for bouts and training. And that's firmly behind him on that evidence. He couldn't find his whereabouts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision Senhoras e senhores, o vencedor por decisão unânime, o canto azul. The marker laid down by Robert C. Ramirez. You are going to have to be very, very, very good if you're going to deny me the gold medal.